Hey everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC and today I'll be unboxing the Skype Gentle Typhoon which is a very popular fan for use in water cooling radiators and also heat sinks uh, and this fan is very well known to have good performance on restricted areas like radiators and heat sinks uh, due to its blade design which we'll get to later but first let's take a look at the box itself first so the box is in very appealing in my opinion and it's all in Japanese and yeah it's there's also the English part on the top here and you know it's mostly glossy uh, cardboard printed over and you can see the specifications over here this is the 2150 rpm gentle typhoon I didn't get the 3000 rpm one because I couldn't find it and it's a different blade design anyways and I wanted to find uh, to test the most popular one, which is the 1850, and I pretty much can test it with 2150 since it's the same blade design. So, yeah, this will be used for um, the upcoming fan comparison video that I'll be doing. This is uh, I bought this fan in Hong Kong on my uh, vacation. Since from Japan, I went to Hong Kong and I found it in Hong Kong. And it's weirdly enough, I didn't actually find any of these in Japan, even though it's. Uh, branded by Skype, which is a Japanese uh, company. But the fan itself is made by Nidex Servo, which is uh, made in Vietnam, and it's not actually made by Skype. Skype merely uh, rebrands it and put it up for retail. So yeah, here it is. Uh, it doesn't have, it has vibration control, uh, um, vibration reduction mechanism, and this fan is also the PWM version instead of the non PWM version and as you can see this is the 3000 RPM version which has a reinforcement ring on the outside compared to the normal one which is this one but one other thing that I think uh, the box is kind of uh, weird in the design is that it has a viewing port over here a hole and it's acrylic or some kind of plastic but it shows the back of the fan uh, to show the specifications and stuff but uh, the picture is the front of the fan so it kind of doesn't match. I don't know, it's not a big deal, but it's just something that bugged me a little bit in the first time. So yeah, let's take it apart and let's see what's inside. So, in terms of accessories, it's very minimal. You just get four black screws, but that's not bad. They actually gave you um, black screws instead of the normal uh, silver ones, but yeah. So, see the fan itself. And as you can see here, it's inside another white box, and here's the fan itself. So yeah, the fan is a uh, kind of bland. It's not a, it's not a blingy, you know, uh, good-looking fan at all. Although some might, li might like this look, and I do like the look of this fan. But it's a, it's a very performance-oriented fan. It doesn't really care about looks. That's why the color is uh, gray, and it has black plastic on the side. But yeah, here it is. You can see the blade design. It's a very high static pressure um, blade design, pretty much. Uh, and it also does have a pretty steep angle, so it should still push quite a lot of air. But it's a high static pressure design in that there's a lot of the blade, so there's very very little gaps between the fan blades, so they'll reduce um, back airflow, uh, backwash from the airflow hitting uh, the restriction and going back through the fan. And also it has a very tight blade clearance on the side. So that should help increase static pressure as well. And the hub is kind of large, but I don't think it's a big deal uh, since, you know, the middle part of the fan is actually rotating at a slower rate of speed than the outer part of the fan. Not the RPM, but like uh, the travel distance travel is smaller than the inside. So even though if you have the blades uh, reaching up to the middle, th this side won't really push a lot of air anyway. So. Yeah, this is not a problem at all to have a quite a large fan hub, although smaller is better, but it doesn't really help that much either. And yeah, here's you can, here you can see the back of the fan, and you can see that it kind of tapers off at the side, and it, it does that to give you more airflow to the side, parts of the radiator that's not directly behind the fan blade. And yeah, you know, this is a very high static pressure fan. It's 2150 RPM, 0.13 amps. Um, branded Skype Gentle Typhoon and made by Nidex Servo. So yeah, here you can also see the exposed uh, motor shell and also the bearing uh, bearing mount on here. You can see the shaft. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it for the looks of the fan. So let's uh, give it a try then. I got this uh, USB fan uh, power adapter. So yeah, here we go, let's see. I'm just gonna start it off at the lowest speed. And it doesn't start yet, so here we go, it's starting to go. Yep, it's going, uh, but it's quite slow, so we'll just go up slowly. So you can see that this fan isn't very loud at all. It's a uh, well, it's audible, definitely, but it isn't extremely unpleasant or loud. And the fan noise is actually quite smooth, so it isn't really annoying at all to listen to. Even at 2150 RPM, so yeah, here it is. And the airflow is also quite strong. You can see by the way the tissue paper is flapping around in the airflow. And it does have quite a lot of static pressure. Uh, you can see by using this HADI, which I got lying around since I replaced my HADI with something better. So yeah, here it is. It's not a dense fin array by any means, but it's a thick radiator and you can see that it still blows a decent amount of air out of it, even though it's restricted, although this is at full fan speed. So yeah, if you reduce it, obviously the airflow will kind of reduce, but as you can see, it still blows quite a lot of air even for a reduced fan speed because this fan is heavily static pressure optimized and you know, we'll have to see the performance later compared to the other fans uh, once I get to test it on my radiators but yeah, that's it for this video uh, for this unboxing of the Skype Gentle Typhoon and yeah thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, please leave a like and please uh, click subscribe to see more of my future videos. Thanks for watching.